Yo, good afternoon guys. I just finished my duty. I got home. Oh, five minutes to three o'clock. I actually went to the grocery and I bought these things. Oh, this is uh, 32 dollars. Frozen. And then instant miso soup. Noodles. Copy. And I'm going to cook the noodles now. in the grocery I was already thinking of getting a um, cabbage but still I forgot that's why it is just like this guys yeah I cut my finger accident happened it is already yeah 16 minutes to 11 o'clock basically I was uh, cutting this onion and yeah cut the finger I am making a soup It's not good to cook, to move with this uh, wound. I stopped bleeding now. I don't know what I am cooking, but it is going to be a soup. And if you notice my uh, stove, yeah, it is clean. If you check all my previous videos, this one was uh, very, uh, yeah, stained a lot. I'm not going to make any pressure on this uh, wound so that it heals uh, quickly. Kind of egg drop soup, but I'm also going to put some of these uh, noodles. It is now uh, 1.10 and uh, we are going out. Yo, and yeah, we are here in Albura Maria, actually in Nelson Bay for sure. There are many people down there, and also there are many people over there. And there are many cars here. Yeah, it's full. Actually, when I get inside, this is the only space. And look at that, there is a nice car. Classic. Yeah. But you know, to be honest, I can't really vlog properly. Yeah, because today I feel uh, bothered. I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm uh, thinking a lot of things today. Not just today, but even in the previous days, actually. But because today I am day off, I am focused on uh, thinking. Yeah. Oh, wait, look at this. Yeah, these people, these uh, kids, they are going to the water playground. So basically, I decided that I am going to leave my apartment I mean yeah for good that I am going to move to a cheaper yeah, just room yeah so actually I have been uh, looking for a new place to stay in the previous uh, months previous days yeah, and that's why I send a message to my landlord telling them that yeah, I am going to end the contract. Yeah, because you know, if I did not uh, do that, I will keep on thinking, I will keep on worrying. And now that I did, yeah, I am my feeling somehow is to be good. 
yeah but what i am worrying now or what i am thinking now is uh, where i am going to stay because uh yesterday what i am thinking is how i am going to say to my landlord when i am going to say to my landlord what i am going to say to my landlord yeah those things and when i finally did i'm not worrying about that anymore the main reason for doing this is uh, for me to save money yeah because if you remember my house rent is uh, 350 dollars a week and actually that is already cheap in this area and actually with the 350 dollars everything is already included and in the area you're not going to see any more uh, 350 dollars apartment rent apartment rent yeah mostly are already 400 dollars 500 700 so my apartment is already the cheapest actually yeah actually in the area room is already uh, 300 something dollars yeah but that one is good because uh, with swimming pool and pulley parnish everything included but it's just a room actually i am already very courageous enough to do this because yeah i have this uh, bun i can stay in this bun and yeah it's okay to stay here yeah that is what is making me busy in the previous days browsing for a room for rent let me show you the message that i sent to my landlord good morning mate just to let you know that i am planning to move out from the granny plot i have been living here since 2017 and i feel really sad to leave this plot i have no place to go yet but i am looking for a cheap room around the area i am not sure if you know but i actually have uh, 1000 bonds which is 1000 dollar bonds which is equivalent to four weeks rent of 250 dollars with the previous owner i would like to use that for the remaining weeks of my stay here or use part of it for cleaning whatever good you decide this granite plot is fully furnished when i came the kettle and the microwave oven are just to replace with a new one thank you yeah and then he replied i'm sorry you feel this way let's have a chat face to face to see what we can do I'll be there thank you and I said say see you and then he replied again as far as the bond is concerned this is something that you need to follow up with the previous owner do you have a paperwork you will still need to pay rent until this time yeah that's the content I don't know the rules on bonds but I believe that is already the responsibility of the new owner because when they bought the house they already bought that uh, band I think already I'm not sure but yeah based on my on his letter I think I don't know I don't feel like uh, bothering my previous landlord anymore yeah first uh, I don't want to think about uh, giving money back to me yeah, because for sure uh, they are uh, very calm i mean they don't care to me anymore yeah and then if i message them they will suddenly think about that one thousand is a big money but i'm fine with that i'm fine not to have that they actually been very nice to me when they are still uh, living in the house if you remember every year every christmas they are giving me a rent free stay in my uh, granny plot yeah and they've been very nice actually so i don't want to bother them and i'm fine not getting the one thousand dollars anymore i thought it's already the responsibility of the new owner so yeah but if they don't want to give me that's fine yeah that's it i will keep you updated i'm actually supposed to be in the house and uh, packing my things so that yeah i'll be worry free
in the coming days. Good morning guys. It is uh, 7.29 in the morning and at the moment we are here in uh, yeah, Newcastle area. Yeah, it's been one hour since I left the uh, Nelson Bay. We are here at McDonald's facing to the drive-thru so there's many people there they are ordering their uh, drive-thru meal oh i can see a uh, suzuki jimny if that is going to stop i will uh, come and i will give her yeah the keyhole cover oh no not going to stop it's going to the drive-thru yeah she went to the drive-thru i prefer to eat inside Just order a meal and now just go to. I like the ambience of this McDonald's. This is one of those places where it's nice to do works on your computer. Yeah. And we are now here in one of the residential area here in yeah, Newcastle, part of Newcastle. This is very near to the University of Newcastle or Newcastle University. Uh, I'm going to check one room in here. Yeah, I am now doing the house inspection, room inspection. And actually, a lot of people are doing that. And it's going to be the third uh, unit that I am visiting. On the previous two, maybe we are around 15 uh, people okay. looking for the unit. But mostly are uh, young people, like students. Because like what I've said, this area is very near to the University of Newcastle. So look at this. This one is in... Uh, yeah, in Jesmond, get inside here in this uh, compound. There is like apartment over there. And there is another one here. Rooms is like this. And this is $200. Okay, this time we are here in uh, Birmingham Gardens. Yeah, it is actually getting more and more people are looking for a room. The last one that I've checked, there are about uh, 25 people. But some of those are with their parents, with their dad or mom. Some of the places are mixed uh, students and yeah, pro working professional. The house rent, I mean the room rent is ranging from uh, yeah, 150 to 300 dollars. This area of Newcastle is about a one hour drive to my workplace or to Nelson Bay. Yeah, and uh, it's fine for me. I remember that when I was working in the Philippines, in Manila, my travel time is uh, three hours allowance. Going and coming back, so it's six hours. Yeah, six hours uh, allowance just for public transportation and yeah during the travel time it was very hot humid lots of dust traffic yeah and, it, and then when it is raining of course yeah you will get wet for sure and then when going home going back home a you need to queue in line a lot of uh, people are online in line waiting for the jeepney or public transportation even the um, train stations very busy people are always in line for the trip you know when i was inside the apartment i touched i touched my back and i noticed that my shirt is actually broken already yes. Arriving at Stockland Jesmond, Big W Stockland Jet. Oh, I'm not going to buy a $30 short. That one is $30. $30 also. Oh, this one is just $10. Oh, there is a $7 here. This one here, this one is a 15. 
So I'm taking this two. Yeah, one is uh, ten dollars, and one is one is seven dollars. Very nice. This big W is just in the entrance. It means that I don't need to go through a lot of people with my broken shorts. We are now here in uh, Meriwether. I am hungry. There is one coffee shop there, but I actually have a coffee here. The one that I made this morning. Yeah, this one is still hot. Let's check. Yeah, it's still hot. One reason is because this is under the sun. Yeah, the heat from the sun keeping it hot there is actually a Suzuki Jimny if I see the owner of that I'm going to give him or her the yeah the keyhole cover yeah I bought this there this is seven dollars yeah looks like a Yorkshire pudding but it's actually custard something it's sweet I like the taste but it should be warm I mean should be heated a little bit it is already uh, 2 o'clock and I have one more uh, room inspection at uh, 6 o'clock so I'll be just here waiting for the time yeah it's like a Yorkshire pudding but there is a custard inside here again in one of the residential area yeah this is the one that I'm waiting for to inspect okay yeah I just check one uh, room yeah it's okay the room is okay but it's a uh, small but yeah the lady there is nice yeah Vietnamese lady and she said that she was uh, working with the Filipino and Filipinos are really nice <laughs> I said thank you we are now here in the McDonald's near the airport of Newcastle. And if you notice, yeah, this McDonald's is actually facing to this uh, empty space. Yeah. I don't know, it's not a farm. It's just an empty space. There is no horse, no animals. Yeah, just empty. So my breakfast was McDonald's. And again, my dinner will be McDonald's. Yeah. It is actually already 7.45. But, yeah, this is how it is. It's still bright. Sunset will be later, 8 o'clock. And we end up here in the washing area. I need to wash it because I stay in the beach. And, you know, Newcastle Beach, there's a lot of uh, mist coming from the... Yeah, from the waves of the water. Yo, good afternoon guys. It is already 5.45. Yeah. And actually the house is a mess. You see all these things? All these things. Yeah, I actually just went to shop. I bought this towel, candy, chocolate. No, not no chocolate, but t-shirts. And these are all my things. Yeah, small, small things. Cables, charger. <laughs> yeah, GoPro things and 
yeah some tools that I use for making the bun but soap yeah everything yeah I would like to say sorry and thank you for all the people who came here visit here and gave me things but you know some of those things I am going to send to my family in the Philippines yeah thank you very much especially those uh, t-shirts that you gave me yeah I won't be able to use those because yeah I have a lot of shirts actually t-shirts and that's why I'm just going to send it to the Philippines because I will be moving to just a small room and having those things just stuck is not a good uh, idea because there is also a chance that I will be just living in the bun that's why I have a box here that I'm going to send to the Philippines I am very busy these days because of this packing all of these things and another thing is I'm still looking for a place to go yeah I still have no place to go but I already informed my landlord that I will be leaving yeah so I'm busy finding a new apartment a new a room actually that's why I can't edit video